Welcome to the RPG Maker MV tutorial series level 2. So, we've just completed level 1. Where do we go from here? Well, let's start by making a game in 15 minutes using what we've learnt already. So, I'm going to go File, New Project. I'll call it Level 2. We're going to start up our new project. And once that's ready, we'll start the 15 minute timer. Let's go. First of all, we need to start. This can be our start screen. We'll need an end screen. Let's call this our end screen. We'll need a world map. Let's load up a nice looking world map. Say this one. It's got some good, good islands there. We want a starting town. Let's start in a fishing village looking place. That's great. Okay, From our fishing village, we will of course need to get to the world, but we'll do that afterwards. Let's load up a second... We want to have a forest next. There's a nice place to walk through. To get to our second location, which would be something like a bigger town, like in the first tutorial series. From there, we might want to go through a bit more of a lost forest maze type location to get to something like a tower, which you've got to have in any RPG. The tower will, of course, take us to some dungeons. More compulsory things for good RPGs. Let's put a stone cave, an ice cave, a cursed cave, and a lava cave, just for a bit of variety. Then we want something a bit more interesting. How about we have some kind of a mystic looking teleporting location, and that can take us somewhere like a floating temple where we can end our game. Now we need to be able to get to and from those locations from the world map. So let's put our village down here. This looks like a good little village. It's on the corner. We need to set an entrance. We'll do a quick event creation. Transfer from here to the village. There's the entrance to the village. From the village, we need to be able to get back to the world map. Somewhere like here. Once we get out there, we want to get into the forest. Let's put down a forest entrance. Transfer to the forest at the starting point. We want to go up. Let's put that all across here so that no matter where we go, we end up in the forest. And then we'll have an exit from the forest. From here, we'd want to go back into the top of the forest. If we're going the other direction, we'll go down. That can go there. Okay, we need to have entrances and exits from the forest as well. Quick transfer to the world, and that can just come out here. And up here, we'll have an exit to the other side. Okay. Excellent. Now, we're going to need to have a town. So, this looks a bit like a town. We'll just put that here, say. And let's put a little path so that the player knows where to go. So they can go from here into the forest. And then they can come from the forest to the town. And then we might want to go over here 
to this lost forest type location. From the lost forest we want to have an exit and we'll go down this way, make it a little bit less obvious kind of pathway and we will go to some kind of abandoned tower looking thing because that's cool, why not? Excellent. So let's put our entrances to the town. We want to go into our normal town, about here. Okay, we go up. Just put that all over there. And from the normal town, we want to be able to exit back out to the world. Same deal again. Out to here. Go down. We want to have a lost forest entrance. That'll be here. So that will actually go out to the world at the top of the forest. And we'll have exits from the bottom of the forest to the path down the bottom. Makes sense, doesn't it? Want to make sure that we can get into the forest. So we'll have a transfer point from here to the forest. We'll go there. And we want to have another transfer point into the Lost Forest here. Okay, so now we can get in and out of our forest. Let's make sure that we can get in and out of our tower. This is a good spot. And from the tower, we want to be able to exit to the world. Right. Now, how do we get to our caves? Let's make some teleports. We'll just do some teleports from here. That's good enough. And we can go to our cave, to the entrance here. And we'll have another one to our ice cave, to the entrance there. Another one to our cursed cave. to the entrance here. And a final one to our lava cave. Okay. Now, how do we get to our really interesting hall. Let's go and copy this teleport looking thing. And before we do that, we'll just put that somewhere around here. Uh, we want to get our cool magic type spell place. We'll put that down here so that it matches up. Okay, we'll just put this in the middle there. And we'll also just make this line up with that, the tower the Hall of Transference, as they've called it. Okay, now it looks a bit magical and spelling. We can obvi obviously activate this later on, but for now that'll do. We want this to transfer our player to the Hall of Transference. And we want to make a suitable sound effect, not the walking one of normal transfers. So let's call it a teleport, say. 
that's that'll do for now. Excellent. And the Hall of Transference should of course be able to teleport the player back. So we'll actually just copy that other one that we've set up already. And then that way we can just change the location to teleport to to go back to the tower. Okay. Now we don't have a way to get out of these dungeons just yet, so let's set that up. We're going to need to customize this a little bit. So we'll just put a, like a little portal looking thing over here. And see if we can find some nice kind of pedestal type things to make it look obvious. We'll put an exit here and we'll send that back to the tower. Now let's use the teleporty te sounding effect here and we're actually going to use the one that goes from the tower because uh, the one that goes to the tower that's better. And we can obviously change all this later on but that goes to the tower so that's fantastic. Okay. Let's find a good spot in the ice cave, maybe up here, and we'll do the same thing. Put a little portal behind it, and some kind of pedestal there to show what's going on. Same again from the cursed cave. There's a spot. Sort of portal looking exit. Okay, and one more from the lava cave, and we've already got a sort of portal looking space there. Excellent. So now we can go back to the tower, we can go to the Hall of Transference. From here we need to be able to exit. So we'll have an exit outside. And just in case we want to come back in, we'll put a door here. And we've got an interesting looking door that we can choose. Let's choose this one because it's a bit more appropriate for the temple entrance there. And then we'll want some kind of character who can finish this off. Let's call it the Fairy Queen. And she can say something like, You have saved me! We can then send the player off to the end of the game. Okay. At the end of the game, we want to say, we want to make sure that the player is transparent so we can't see them. We want to do something like you have saved the fairy queen and the world. What a hero. Credits RPG Maker MV Game Dev Channel And we'll then transfer, uh, we'll end the game and we'll go to the title screen. Okay, we do need a start point, so let's set up a start and we'll say uh, save the world. And we might put that into a scrolling text of some kind. Why not? And then we might say something like, what is your name? We're very close to running out of time, so we'll just quickly add this in. And we'll need to transfer the player to the first location. Let's put them into the fishing village. We can say they've just come off a boat. Excellent. 
before we start a game we need to make sure that they're transparent and when we transfer them we need to make sure that they're not transparent and that is 15 minutes let's see what we've done and what we've missed and then we'll just fix up a few things and then we'll continue on into the rest of the tutorial where it will expand on this rough outline of our game so first things first let's test our game what have we done right what did we miss in our rush to get this completed in 15 minutes we've got our introductory logo here's our game new game and we're not doing anything yet just one last thing before we start we need to make sure that our start and end events are on auto run or else they won't work okay in our rush we also uh, set the forest not the lost forest which is where we wanted to go in this one so let's just fix that up real quick okay right we've made a couple of quick fixes now let's do our playtest we could just use the playtest button but let's do a deployment for PC so we'll go to file deployment and here we are platform for Windows we can also deploy for Android mobile Mac and Linux we're just going to go with Windows this time we'll exclude and used files decide where we want to save it to click OK it's done we'll open up our game XE folder and here we are in our full PC game this can be packaged up and delivered to any platform you like such as itch.io for example for free there's our new game here's our intro screen just as we set it up what's your name? Hardy why not? off we go out of the village into the forest through the forest into our town do stuff in our town come out of the town off into the deep dark forest we've used a scrolling map here so it gives it a kind of a maze like effect so the, the map will actually scroll horizontally and so as you move through it it feels like it's quite a long map even though it's not really much bigger than the original forest map and this is a handy trick if you want to create maze type levels or for example if you wanted to create a world map that scrolls across from one side to the other so you can actually sail uh, across the ocean and come back on the other side and here we are in our world map again we'll go down to find our lost tower and it's over here we go into our tower from the tower we can go to our dungeons we've got our exit from the dungeon back to our tower we can do that through our ice cave as well so we go through each of our dungeons fighting monsters collecting items gaining experience and this will eventually trigger our final teleport which will take us through to the hall of transference and here we are at the end where we have saved the fairy queen and the world what a hero and that's the end of our game fantastic so we've built a game in 15 minutes what do we do now well let's expand on it and enhance our project look forward to seeing you in the next one that's the end of the video if you enjoyed it please consider smashing those like and subscribe buttons as they do help with the algorithm now it's your turn to go make a game see you in the next one